Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called Rocuronium, and Rocuronium's brand name is Zemeron. It falls under the class of non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockers and also paralytics. Mechanism of action is that it antagonizes the acetylcholine at the motor end plate, inducing skeletal muscle paralysis. And the only indication for it in EMS is rapid sequence induction or rapid sequence intubation. As always, before we get into dosages, abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. The adult dose, the adult dose is going to be 0.6 to 1.2 milligrams per kilogram, IV or IO. The pediatric dose is exactly the same, which is 0.6 to 1.2 milligrams per kilogram. And depending on what your protocol says, it's usually intended for three months and older. Your contraindications include hypersensitivity to bromides, and you want to use with caution in patients with heart, hepatic, and renal disease. Adverse reactions can include transient hyper or hypotension, apnea, dysrhythmias, bronchospasm, nausea, vomiting, respiratory depression, wheezing, and ronchi. Drug interactions. Inhalation anesthetics can potentiate the effects of rocuronium. How it's supplied. It is typically supplied in 10 milligrams in one milliliter. A few side notes about rock. And that's going to be our first side note. Rocuronium is commonly referred to as rock or rocks out in the EMS field. So just be aware of that. Rocuronium does not change a patient's level of consciousness or pain. So if a patient is conscious and you give them rocuronium, they feel and know everything that's going on. And how scary of an experience would that be? So it's so important that the patient must be sedated before the paralytic is given and ventilatory support is ready. But if you're RSIing, you know all of this. It's just so, so important to remember. Depending on your protocol, decreased doses for patients with renal failure should be considered, and the onset is usually one to two minutes. One thing about ROC is it kicks in quick, and it's usually gone pretty quick. Remember to abide by your local protocol and always stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!